Jess Glynn these days. Now, my next guest has featured alongside Matt Damon and Tommy Lee Jones in Jason Bourne, appeared in Vikings, and he's now writing a fabulous new show which is inspired by the life of the world's first commercial pilot. Did you know she was Irish and her name was Lady Mary Heath? Joining me in studio now is Amy De Bruyne. Amy, welcome to Plan B. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> um, I, I got you in because I have been so intrigued and fascinated by this story. I had no idea who Lady Mary Heath was. How did you? Um, I had no idea either. It, basically about two years ago, um, Melanie Lynch, uh, the founder of Her Story, came to me with the character of Lady Mary Heath. Um, she had seen some of my shows before. I've, I've done six different one woman shows and she was saying, I think this character would really suit you. And the whole kind of premise of the Her Story movement was to reclaim the forgotten stories of, of these amazing Irish women. So, uh, yeah, she, she kind of gave me the information and then I just kind of delved deeper into who Lady Mary Heath was. And she was just an incredible woman. So instantly I was kind of going, why, why don't we know about her? Why don't we know about more of these women? You know. Well, it shocks me because I was doing my own research. And when I say I was doing my own research, I went onto Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> and... I saw that she was once the most famous woman in the world for five years in the 1920s, the most famous woman. So how does someone like that just disappear? I know, I know. I, I think I think what happened was what, um, she was pitted against Amelia Earhart, who everybody, everybody knows. And it was basically because Amelia Earhart had a better PR guy. Her husband basically just like sold her as this amazing pilot and everything. And then Lady Mary Heath kind of fell into the shadows and then ended up kind of becoming a drunk and then no one really knew about her and, and she died in London. Wow, because l let's find out a little bit about her story. She was the first Irish female uh, pilot, a commercial pilot. Yeah, yeah, the first. Um, she, <laughs> I, I love this, I, for some reason I love this I, the idea of it as well. Like she, um, they, they kind of wouldn't let her, um, they had to basically uh, get her menstrual cycle tested every single month because they saw, it, they saw it as a disability. So they didn't want her to be a, a commercial pilot. All men were commercial so pilots say, at this point. Was she not allowed to fly when she had her period? No, no. Well, they, they they tested it because they saw that it was kind of a disability or it might make her a bit mad. So they just made it as difficult as possible for her. <laughs> Which is mental. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So how did she come through all of that? She just persisted. And what was really interesting about her was she was feminine in, in a man's world. So she would fly these planes, but she would wear, you know, these extravagant fur coats and pearls and diamonds. And uh, and, and she had a very strong personality. Her, her father had mental health problems. He bludgeoned her mother to death. Um, so I think in that kind of way, the apple didn't fall too far from the tree. I think she was a little bit... Um, a little bit uh, eccentric and uh, and people just noticed her for it and, and, she, and she just was determined she just everything that she did she did with with force basically wow now like you know she was discriminated against lady mary heath was discriminated against because of her gender yes you being an actress have you ever been discriminated against because of your gender well, I, I've sort of said this before, that it's more a case of there are not enough roles for women. There aren't enough roles for women of a certain age. Um, and women do become forgotten about past a certain age. It's, it's, it's obviously improving and it's getting better. But um, there's definitely, and, and with, with kind of Time's Up and all of these kind of movements, it is changing. But there has definitely been, you know, a good few years where... There's been a sort of a discrimination uh, against women or even in roles where women are just seen as kind of um, an accessory to a man, um, you know, or it's a, it's a full male cast and one or two females dotted in there for kind of good measure. Um, and is this why you've decided to actually, and a lot of people, as well as females, a lot of males are going into producing because they're saying, you know what, we need to start writing our own stuff because we can't sit by and wait for the phone to ring. No, you, <laughs> you simply can't. And I think that's why I originally started writing. I started writing about seven years ago now. And uh, I just started with one woman shows because they were the easiest way to kind of get, get, it, get the work on and seen. And it was just because you can't be sitting waiting for the phone. And and it's really great to write roles that you want to play because often you, you'll get a script and the roles are amazing and then you realise the woman is sort of, you know, got a few lines here or there or, you know, mightn't be as well developed. Um, so, yeah, I think... And, and Reese Witherspoon, I was watching a thing with Oprah, you know, she was talking to Oprah and she's an incredible example of, of completely shifting 
you know, what, how women are seen and, and producing and making these amazing roles for women. Well, I'm thrilled that you're getting Lady Mary Heath's story out there because I cannot believe she's faded into history. She's such an important woman. She is, and I think, and, and the, whole, the whole kind of idea with the show as well is that if we don't kind of celebrate these amazing women from our history, we sort of get stuck in this cycle where we don't kind of evolve and, and grow. So, you know, like who kind of are our role models, you know, and, and today's role models, there's a lot of kind of, and um, people are famous for being famous. Yeah. Um, if we have, if we learn from these um, incredible Irish women that have gone before a hundred years ago, we kind of go, well, if that was possible then, like what could be possible for us now? So how do we see this play come to fruition? Uh, well, there's a funded page. Um, so I'm trying to raise 4,000 euro and I think I've got three weeks left to do it. I think we're around 30% of the way there now. It's uh, funded.ie forward slash project forward slash ICU, as in I-S-E-E-Y-O-U, not the other <laughs> way. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and you can donate there or share the page. And there's a there's a cool little uh, promo video there, which is a, a little speech, kind of spoken word speech from taken from the show directly itself. It is fabulous. I am so happy that you're trying to get this up onto the stage. Thank you so much for sharing this information with us give us your social media handles as well because people might want to follow you there yes i'm at amy devrun uh, on twitter so it's a-m-y-d-e-b-h or u-n and uh amy devrun one woman shows on facebook uh my uh, website is www.amydevrun.net brilliant well listen good luck with all of that thank and as so i much. said thank you for bringing lady mary uh, heath back to our attention thank you very much and for you to also do the same <laughs> yeah, well, good luck with it all um up next, actually talking about uh, amazing women this week's plan based single of the week is the battle of the ladies do you want taylor swift taking out the plan based single of the week or will it be megan trainer only you can decide go over to twitter at spin 1038 and take that poll now but first this is avici and rita or lonely together you're listening to plan b mm -hmm.